school teacher from England meeting the great king of Siam, and you begin a story between the two of them. Shall we dance? One, two, three, and... On a bright cloud of music, shall we fly? Someone like Anna was kind of a revolutionary figure. She goes into this very complex and isolated country, teaches children exactly how to read and write and think, and then sort of opens their eyes to the world. When you walk into the theater, it's kind of a, we call it a jaw dropper because it, people aren't expecting it. And it gives a richness to the production and it's almost magical. It's a great family show, especially for kids, and you want to bring them to experiences which both elevate them, make them feel smart, and at the same time, actually make them happy, and it does that. I think they can expect to be transformed to a whole other world. A lot of authenticity. It's really a great experience to see this show in its full, full richness. When the last little star has left the sky. It's really about the possibility of change. You know, the king learns from her, and she learns from the king. And it's a very sophisticated relationship between the two of them. And when you see things actually feel like they can improve, it's kind of a complicated world, but you get models in it. Um, models for how you could be idealistic, models for how you could make change, models for how um, you can be positive and hopeful, all kinds of things which make it feel like the world could be a better place.